Imagine a land where lawlessness breeds legends, where the line between hero and villain blurs amidst the dust and gun smoke of the untamed frontier. Welcome to American Frontier Tales, where history comes alive, one story at a time. Today, we delve into the life of a man whose name is synonymous with the brutality and the blood-soaked soil of the Wild West, John Joel Glanton. Once a soldier turned rogue, Glanton carved a path through the American West that left both awe and horror in its wake. His story is not for the faint of heart, but it's a chapter of history that sheds light on the darkest corners of human nature and the savage beauty of a land unclaimed. Join us as we journey back to a time when the American frontier was a canvas for the bold and the ruthless and discover the truth behind the man who became a legend in his own right though, for reasons as grim as the deeds that earned him infamy. This is the tale of John Joel Glanton, the scalp hunter whose name still echoes through the canyons of history. In the year 1819, under the vast skies of Tennessee, a future figure of infamy, John Joel Glanton, was born into a world on the cusp of great change. Little is known about his childhood, but the America he grew up in was one of expansion and upheaval, a land where destiny was written with a rifle and a deed. Glanton's early years remain shrouded in the mists of the past, but we can imagine a boy coming of age in the rugged backwoods, where survival was a daily challenge and the wilderness a constant companion. It was a time when a young man's worth was measured by his ability to stand firm in the face of nature's trials and the tempests of human conflict. As Glanton grew, so did the nation, and by the time he reached manhood, the drums of war were sounding in the distance. The Mexican-American War beckoned, and Glanton, like many young men ignited by the flames of patriotism and the lure of adventure, answered the call. It was this decision that set him on a path far from the ordinary, a path that would lead him into the annals of history, not as a hero, but as a harbinger of death and destruction. The skills and scars he acquired during the war were but a prelude to the man he would become. For some, war is an end. For Glanton, it was merely the beginning. Stay with us as we trace the steps of Glanton's journey from soldier to scourge of the frontier and witness the transformation that would make his name a byword for terror in the Wild West. As the fires of the Mexican-American War raged, John Joel Glanton found himself amidst the chaos and camaraderie of battle. It was a brutal conflict that shaped territories and destinies alike. Glanton, a man whose hands were no strangers to the rifle, emerged from the war not as a decorated hero, but as a seasoned fighter, his soul seemingly hardened by the horrors he had witnessed and inflicted. The war ended, but for Glanton, peace was a siren song he could not or would not heed. The skills he had honed in battle were ill-suited to the quiet life of a civilian. Restlessness took root in his heart, and the wild expanse of the American West called to him with the promise of freedom and fortune. It was here, in the untamed lands, that Glanton would make a name for himself, but not in the way most men dream. The year was 1849, and the gold rush was in full swing. The West was a magnet for those with dreams of wealth, but for Glanton, the true gold lay not in the rivers of California, but in the grim trade of scalp hunting. The practice was as barbaric as it sounds, a gruesome business born of conflict and prejudice, where human lives were reduced to bounties and scalps became currency. Glanton and his band of men, hardened by war and lured by the promise of easy money, descended upon the frontier. They struck a deal with the Mexican government to fight against the Apache, who were fiercely defending their lands. But Glanton's hunger for profit knew no allegiance or morality. His gang turned their guns on anyone whose scalp they could sell, leaving a trail of bloodshed that did not discriminate by age or gender. The scalp hunter had become the hunted, as both Native American tribes and Mexican authorities grew incensed by the atrocities. Glanton's name, once whispered in the dark corners of saloons, now echoed with dread across the plains and deserts of the West. In our next chapter, we'll delve deeper into the lawless life of Glanton's gang and the brutal legacy they left behind. Stay with us as we uncover the grim reality of a man consumed by the darkest aspects of the frontier spirit. The Wild West was a land of myths and men, of harsh realities clashing with the tall tales of the frontier. But the tale of John Joel Glanton and his gang was no myth.
and the harsh reality of their deeds would stain the pages of history with blood. As the notoriety of Glanton's gang grew, so did the bounty on their heads. The very government that once contracted them turned against them as the scale of their brutality became undeniable. Townsfolk whispered of the gang's approach with the same dread as an impending storm. Glanton's men were no mere outlaws, they were a force of nature, leaving a wake of destruction that even the hardy settlers of the West could not abide. The law was a fluid thing in those days, often as not on the side of the highest bidder. But there are acts that cannot be ignored, crimes that cry out for justice, and Glanton's spree of violence had crossed that line. The gang found themselves pursued not just by the Mexican authorities they had betrayed, but also by the very people they had sworn to protect. It was a grim irony that Glanton, once a soldier defending a nation, had become an enemy of the people. And then, in 1850, the inevitable end came. On the banks of the Colorado River, Glanton met his demise. It was a violent conclusion to a violent life, as the Yuma Indians, one of the many groups wronged by Glanton, took their revenge. The hunter was finally silenced, his reign of terror snuffed out as swiftly as it had begun. But death is not always an end. For some, it is the beginning of a legend, and Glanton's story would live on, a cautionary tale of a man who became a monster, a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the human heart. In our final chapter, we will reflect on the legacy of John Joel Glanton. How does one weigh the life of such a man? And what can we learn from the bloody trails he left behind? Join us as we ponder these questions and the indelible Mark Glanton left on the American West. As the dust settles on the tales of blood and retribution, we are left to ponder the legacy of John Joel Glanton. His life, a tapestry of violence and survival, was a product of its time, yet it stands out as a stark embodiment of the Wild West's most brutal aspect. Glanton's story is a dark mirror, reflecting the complexities of American expansion and the moral ambiguities of manifest destiny. It challenges us to consider the cost of progress and the price of civilization. The frontier demanded toughness and often rewarded ruthlessness. In this unforgiving landscape, Glanton's actions, though extreme, were not without precedent. The scalps he collected were more than just gruesome trophies. They were signposts on the road to a modern America, markers of a nation's painful birth. Yet, to remember Glanton solely as a villain would be to overlook the broader context of his era. His life was a symptom of a greater disease that afflicted a nation grappling with its identity. The same forces that drove Glanton to his dark deeds also propelled others to acts of courage and sacrifice. The American West was a land of contrasts, where the best and worst of humanity were on full display. As we close this chapter on John Joel Glanton, let us take a moment to reflect on the lessons of history. Let us strive to remember the past with clarity and courage acknowledging the darkness but also recognizing the light that has led us to a better path. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of one of the most notorious figures of the American West. We invite you to share your thoughts on Glanton's legacy and to continue exploring the rich tapestry of history with us. Until next time, keep seeking the stories that lie hidden in the shadows of the past, for they have much to teach us about the world we live in today. And now, we turn to you, our fellow seekers of history. What are your thoughts on the life and times of John Joel Glanton? How do you believe his actions shaped the American West? And what can we learn from this chapter of history? Share your insights and join the conversation. If you found this journey through the past enlightening, please consider subscribing to our channel for more historical explorations.